Today we are going to clone Windows 11 from a older and slower SSD to a much faster SSD. In this particular case, the WD Black SCN 8100, which is the fastest in the world right now. 14,000 megabytes per second, which is just huge. First of all, we will need to put our new SSD on our laptop or desktop. In this particular case, I'm using the Asus ROX Trix G16 from 2025. It has two slots. I can just open it up with just one click so I can place in a second SSD or I can replace the original one. Once we installed the SSD on our computer, desktop or laptop, we just need to turn on the PC and open our browser. Search for Disk Genius, which which is completely free, just go to the official website and download the tool. Now we just need to run the installer, which will take about 30 seconds or so. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. You can see that I've got the original SSD with Windows 11 and the new WD Black which is completely empty. I just need to open Disk Genius and choose OS migration. Then I select the destination disk, which in this particular case is the WD Black, and click OK. A message will appear warning that the data will be erased. I just need to press OK. If you have any data, just back it up. And then we just need to click on Start. But before we do that, we can choose some of the optional settings like the prevent the computer from sleeping, which comes already enabled. We also have the option to automatically set the new SSD as the boot drive or choose to change the boot drive manually via BIOS. In this particular case, I didn't select either of the boot options. I just clicked on start and it will ask again to confirm the data deletion and we are going to say OK. And now we will have two options. The option to reboot to WinPE, which will do the clone outside of Windows and this is probably the best method. But there's also the hot migration, which will clone while the Windows is still running. And the only disadvantage here is that while we have the Windows running, we might have the compulsion almost to use the computer while we are doing the migration. I would suggest to just leave the computer, do not install anything, do not touch anything because if we do install something while we are doing the migration, some files might be corrupted on the destination and we will not have all the software that we already installed. So that's the only downside. But once we select that option, we just need to let this genius uh, start the process it will create a restore snapshot before beginning the cloning process and that is it time will depend on our ssds in my particular case i do have one with 6000 megabytes per second of speed and then i also have the wd black which achieves 14000 megabytes per second reads which is just Awesome. Now the transfer ran about 5,500 megabytes per second, which is the maximum of these two. And it roughly took about seven minutes to complete. But this will depend on the SSDs that you are going to use. Now, once it's finished, it will ask us if we want to restart our PC and we can click that button or we can reboot it manually. And when the PC restarts, we just need to go to our BIOS and then set the new SSD as the boot drive. In my particular case, as I'm using the Asus ROX Trix G16 2025, I can keep both SSDs and then I can choose which one to use. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm testing out the speeds of the WD Black and I'm comparing with the original SSD that comes with this machine, which is completely new, 2025, one of the latest machines from Asus. And if you are curious to know is it worth it to change an SSD that runs at 6,000 megabytes per second for one that runs at 14,000 megabytes per second? I will share with you some more details on the next video. That being said, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for your cloning process of your Windows 11 installation from a slow SSD to a much faster SSD. If that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerta George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.